Hey guys, today is going to be an HEB grocery haul. All of this stuff that I'm going to show you was $217 and some change. I do have a few non-food items that are in here, <clears throat> so I don't know exactly how much it would have been without the non-food items, but it was things that we needed to pick up anyway. So yeah, $217 and some change. This is my bi-weekly uh, H-E-B haul. I told you in my last H-E-B haul that I wanted to try and go every two weeks if I could help it for fresh things. I did pick up a few meat items that were on sale, a couple things that we didn't already have in our stockpile, and <clears throat> not too, too much pantry stuff, but a couple things for our upcoming trip to Disney World in June. I'm just trying to kind of buy something here, buy something there that we could use at home and also take with us for the plane ride and different things like that. So I'm getting over some sort of like cold or something, so I sound kind of in and out of it. Excuse that, but let's jump right in. I'm hoping, so if I can only do, go every two weeks, I think last HEB haul was 200 and something as well. That puts me right around my budget of about $500 is what I like to, between, I'd like to spend no more than 500. For a long time we were going between five and 600 because we were buying more fresh fruits and vegetables. Now that I've kind of evened everything out, Andres is doing keto, I'm eating more wholesome diet, um, it's easier. Plus we have our Zaycon chicken and ground beef and sausage and bacon. So those are things that I don't necessarily have to buy every single time. Now I'm just working on like getting fish. <laughs> so if all I have to do is supplement my meat with all the other groceries, I'm hoping to stick to about $200 between $175 and $200 every two weeks and I think that'll be good. That's not including Costco. I'll probably do Costco like once a month and I'll figure out that budget later. So. I did pretty good this time around. Let's jump right in. Okay, so some non-food things. I needed some gallon um, just slider storage bags, and this is going to be for the girls' clothes when we go to Disney. I wanna start packing ahead of time, keeping outfits separate and stuff. I did this when we went on the cruise and it worked really well, so I picked up one of these. And then Emmy, while we were at the Girl Scout camp out, made a birdhouse, painted it and everything, so we needed some bird seed. This was really cheap though, it was a dollar something. The things that I don't have here are air filters, two of them, and those are quite expensive. They're like $13 for the two of them. So yeah, I had those four non-food items. Milk, of course, we go through milk like pretty much two and two, like one gallon of each of whole milk and 1% a week. So for Autumn, she's still on whole milk, and then for the rest of us, 1%. Um, and the rest is doing keto. There's a fly in here. And so he, a few of these things are specifically for him. The Powerade Zero, these have um, no calories. They're sugar-free. I think they have less than one carb. I don't know, it's uh, electrolyte replacement and stuff. It's supposed to be good for keto. So we got six of those, two fruit punch, two of the mixed berry, one grape, and one just orange. Um, the girls are almost out of jelly, so I got the H-E-B brand Concord Grape Jelly for them for their PB&Js. A uh, thing of apple juice, we mix that with water. So it actually lasts us longer than two weeks. I can use an entire container for almost a month, um, which is not bad. And then some carb sense tortillas for me. I'm not doing keto or really like low, low carb, but it's always nice to not eat the additional carbs in something that you love. Like the difference between these, you can have um, one tortilla for technically four net carbs, but the regular tortillas, even these have 13 grams of carbs. The regular tortillas have like 26, 32 each one, which is crazy. So those, um, not, I haven't been really big on canned goods lately, but the refried beans were on buy one get one free sale so I picked up two of the fat free just for like breakfast tacos or something for the girls or a side dish if we're having like Mexican cauliflower rice and enchiladas or something um, that we've adapted just to have those on hand I want to try and make some homemade chili but I have some tomatoes here and I wanted to just get one can of diced tomatoes to add to it um, some Liquid stevia extract, that's for Andres and his keto. The Sara Lee Delightful 4 to 5 calorie bread, we get the uh, healthy multigrain. Tacos for the girls, again, I don't necessarily think I would do these. I usually wrap my 
yeah, like this is two shells for 16 carbs. So it just really depends. I have been wrapping my tacos in lettuce and doing more like lettuce wraps. But if you bought this, you got this for free. This is the Ortega taco sauce. I got the mild version for the girls. Some sugar-free Kool-Aid Jellos. Andres can have these as a little snack and the girls really like them as well. And then I got the girls some pudding, chocolate vanilla. This is the one that was mixed. Just one pack. And then I got the regular Jello pudding in chocolate. And I'm gonna follow this recipe to make the mini fudge pops. The girls have been really, really enjoying my ice cream <laughs> and so I told them we could get theirs and see if they could make their own. Maddie wanted some croutons for her salad. We really I haven't bought croutons in a long time um, just because they're extra that I don't really need to make my salad great. So I got her just a little pack. We were completely out of ranch so I picked up the light buttermilk ranch. They were completely out of freezer pops. They used up all the ones we had from last year, all of our palettas, all of our Jolly Rancher ones that I couponed four months ago. They're completely out. So we decided to pick these up. These are just the regular, the smaller ones. The ones that we had before were larger and definitely more filled with sugar. So these were only $1.50. Stick these in the freezer. They're great little summer treats. This is one of the things that I was talking about bringing for um, on our trip. Just a couple packs of crackers. Obviously not this huge pack. It was on sale though, so I thought, you know what, I was gonna pick it up anyway. Let me pick it up now. One less thing I have to buy when we get closer to. And the girls love packing these, whether we're doing lunches or snacks out, you know, for little treats and things like that. So we got that. Um, over here, we have a watermelon. It's watermelon season and watermelon's delicious. Lots of chips going on here. Mostly pork rinds for Andres. And then I did pick up a couple for myself. So we have salt and vinegar. Hot and spicy are his. Chile lime, one is mine, two are his. And then barbecue. These are a nice treat. There's no carbs in them. And if you not necessarily need protein, but if you're doing keto, these are great little treats to have. Um, Maddie wanted some pretzels. Emmy wasn't with us, but I know Emmy loves pretzels as well. So I told, him, I told her they could get these mini twists for little snacks after school. I got these for Emmy though because she wasn't with us. They were on sale for a dollar off. She loves Takis, loves them. So I got just the medium sized bag so she could pre-portion them and have maybe a couple after school or whatever the case may be. And then lots of fresh fruit. We were completely out of fruit except oranges so that's the only thing I did not pick up. Strawberries were a pretty, pretty great deal so I picked up two two pound packages. Out of grapes, again, they're great for snacking, and funny thing, Autumn got a hold of it when we were checking out, and she was eating them straight in the checkout line. I was like, Autumn, that's stealing! Um, but she's a baby, so the guy was like, it's okay! <laughs> like, okay. So anyway, green grapes, I got two packs of those, because they didn't really have, like, a big, good pack, so I just got two little packs. Avocados were a great deal, 97 cents a piece for the large Haas avocados. Um, that's great because they're normally $1.50, so we picked up 10. Those are not only good for me trying to eat a wholesome diet, but for Andres doing keto. Um, we have cucumbers. I decided to try and budget friendly a little bit better, and I bought the regular cucumbers, which I got three of them for less than the price of one English cucumber. They just take a little bit more prep. Um, we peel the skin. I guess you don't have to, but we peel the skin a little a little different. So I picked up three of those for the girls for salads and stuff. Some purple grapes. I got a head of uh, cabbage. Again, trying to go more not buying prepackaged stuff so that I could fit more into my budget. Uh, especially now that tax season is over, we don't have as much extra flying around as when I'm not working during tax season. So got to go back to budgeting a little harder. Tax season's always easy to stock up during um, because of the extra funds. So instead of buying the bagged cabbage, this is much cheaper by the head and we'll just shred it ourselves. Same thing with the iceberg lettuce for lettuce wraps. Instead of buying the prepackaged one, I got a head of lettuce for 75 cents and I can cut it down and make lettuce wraps ourselves. Uh, the guava smelled amazing. They were four for a dollar, so I wanted to pick them up. I've never had guava like this before, though. So Andres said you could just eat them, wash them, and eat them like that. So I'm curious to try them. A couple of sweet potatoes for meals throughout the week. Uh, some green apples, just to give it more variety. The girls love apples. They all, That's the first thing they go through as far as our fruit. 
So I picked up green and red, the Fuji and then the Granny Smith and the green. I actually, is there any other green apple? I don't know. Two uh, white onions. Just, I had one pack of zucchini. I plan on doing zoodles at some point during the week, so I picked up two of the one pound packs of zucchini. Those are a great price. They're 99 cents per pound, and one, one pack is one pound. So 99 cents, which is crazy to me. The regular one is $1.49 per pound, so I always get it prepackaged like that. You would think it'd be more expensive, but it's definitely not. Um, I'm dressed because Ankita wants to do his jalapeno bombers, so we got him some jalapenos. I got myself four big Fuji apples, and then like I said, I got the small Fuji for the girls. Two bunches of bananas there, because we go through those pretty quickly. He got some serrano peppers, for I'm not exactly sure what. Two mangoes just for myself. Um, I tend to not buy as much of the fruit that can go bad easier if Andres is not eating it, because between him and I, we or the girls or whatever, we can go through fruit like crazy. But if it's just me eating it, I don't like to buy that much because then it'll go bad. So two large mangoes, baby carrots. I gave Maddie the option and I gave Emmy the option last time whether they wanted the whole carrots or the baby carrots. And last time and this time they both picked baby carrots. So we picked up those. The pineapple was $1.98, so that was a great deal. And then here's another one of my little things that I tried to save some money on. Typically I get the HEB brand two pound pack of washed ready to trim green beans. It is $5.98 for that, which makes it $3 per pound, which is crazy. The I don't mind spending that, but again, if you're trying to budget a little bit more and I have more time now that I'm not working as much, I have more time to be at home and to prepare meals and different things. So these were $1.18 per pound. Same exact green bean. The only difference is, is they're not washed and they're not trimmed. So I figured I could prep them just no different than how I would prep my grapes, like pulling the grapes off and washing them and stuff, putting them in the containers. I figured I would try that to save the money because for the same two pounds, I paid $2.30 versus $6. So yeah, I got those. The, um, Sandwich meat was on sale one dollar off and it just it's the same one that we always get So on the rest picked honey ham and I picked the smoked pepper turkey breast I like that for sandwiches and he likes it just for snacking or putting on salads. He's not doing Sliced cheese. He's just doing regular cheese So and we have that from Costco in the freezer like we uh, last time we were at Costco We bought and stocked up on some so I just got the Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers for my sandwiches he needed some cream cheese, and actually I was going to buy this from Costco because it's a better deal from Costco, but they didn't have it last time. They only had the block cream cheese, so I picked him up three regular cream cheeses from HEB. A couple bags of turkey pepperoni slices. I like this for snacking, or if I'm going to make my flat out pizza with the turkey pepperoni, it's a great way. And then they actually did not have the five dozen eggs, so I just picked up the three dozen. I may regret this though because we do go through eggs really quickly. I probably should have bought two, three dozen, but it's okay. I can always run back and get eggs if need be. And then I did buy a few things of meat. Again, some things that we just don't have and a couple things just because they were on sale for him. I know this type of fish is always kind of controversial here on my grocery hauls and that's totally okay if it's not a fish that you would eat or whatever the case may be because I know I have received messages about it but that's okay it's our favorite for fish tacos that's the only time we eat it that that's not true we do get the um tortilla crusted lime uh tilapia from Costco but the blackened one is that's the only time we eat it for or the only kind we eat for fish tacos it's so so good and totally worth the prepackaged price of five dollars and 33 cents so I picked up two of those and then I had no salmon, so salmon was actually a great deal. Normally it's $8.97 on up to $9.87 per pound, and today it was on sale for $7.67. So $22.40 for almost three pounds of salmon, which is not bad at all. So I picked up the biggest one I can find. We'll chop this up, freeze it, um, or uh, vacuum seal it, freeze it, and we'll have it for a little while. We really enjoyed the pork roast that I got this last time. So I picked up another one. This one is a little different. This one's a pork Boston butt roast. I don't know what the difference is between this one and the other one, but I really like the pulled pork that it gave us. It was super good. And this was a great price. It's almost three pounds, $6.54, which is crazy 
crazy crazy so we got that these were on sale and I picked them up for Andres because if you follow my vlogs regularly then you know we have the Zacon, the lean ground beef um, that comes in the one pound packages. So we have plenty of ground beef, but it is the lean. It's the 93.7 and Andres is doing keto. You can eat the lean, but it's better to have the added fat in the beef. So I got him two packs of ground chuck and you can see they're already reasonably priced. I mean, $1.91 for half a pound there, $2.47 for almost three-fourths of a pound, but they were 25% off in their individual packages, so I told him he could pull it out and make a couple burgers and have, or, you know, uh, saute it up, brown it up, and he could have it with his meals, lunch and dinner throughout the day or whatever. So I bought him two ground chugs and two ground beefs, which are essentially the same. They're the same price and everything. Um, I think they're just made from different parts of the cow I could be totally wrong on that so I got him four of those only because they were on sale so I saved 25% off of that price and then um, some chorizo again for him this is a pork chorizo this is five for a dollar so we get we usually leave one in the fridge and freeze four they freeze and defrost very well and yeah that was that that was all we got two hundred and seventeen dollars and some change so anyway, I think I did pretty good. I definitely know this will hold this over for two, maybe even three weeks. It has been, let me see, I was looking the other day. The last time I went grocery shopping was the 15th of April. So it actually has been a little over two weeks. It's been almost three, like two and a half weeks. So I think we did pretty good. And definitely with the fresh fruit and vegetables, I think it'll last us two to three weeks again, which is awesome sticking in my budget. I have not made a trip to Sam's or Costco recently that I feel like I would need to go out right away and get something. I could probably wait until my next two weeks. So we'll have to play by ear the next trip to Costco or Sam's to see what kinds of things we're going to buy in bulk and what I'm going to set my budget for the month for Costco. Because if I can help it, I'm going to do Costco once a month, HEB twice a month, which should work out the months that there's almost five weeks in the month. I think it'll work out a little bit better. And then we're going on vacation a few times over the summer, so hopefully we can kind of stick within our budget here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the H-E-B grocery haul. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. We'll see you in the next one. To show my enlightened ice cream, there, uh, first off, I love these. <laughs> when you're trying to eat a little bit better but you want something super sweet, enlighten the good for you ice cream. I, I haven't tried this one, peanut butter chocolate chip. Um, I had the sea salt caramel last time and it was really, really good, uh, that one. I haven't tried the coffee, the birthday cake, or the hot mocha. And then the mint I know I love. That's the one I started with and I got last time as well. Really, really good. Like I said, a great treat. They're $3.98 each. There was a $1 coupon and there's a $1 rebate on Ibotta. So not bad when you can get these for two bucks, 50 cents in ice cream, not bad. So that's the end of the haul. See y'all next time.